Hello, everybody. This is the Sofa King. And come on, little Billy, read the sign. You know better than this. So for those of you who have seen my previous seltzer video, you should know that I am a giant fan of seltzer. And recently, um, I went to Walmart and I bought a seltzer that I was not happy about. So this is a urgent warning for anybody who is a fan of seltzer. Do not get Clear American. Or if you do, just watch out on which version you're getting. Now let me explain. So recently, um, there's been a pandemic going on in the States. So I thought, you know, I better do some, you know, last minute emergency shopping, go out, get some food, uh, go and fail to get any toilet paper because everyone keeps buying up all of it and stock myself up for self quarantine time. So I was walking around and I noticed that there's a new brand of seltzer that Walmart is selling. It is actually the Walmart brand itself called Clear American. And this seltzer looked like it was a bit better than the bubbly I usually drink. It had 12 cans instead of 8. And it was at a cheaper price. So I thought, you know what, let me go ahead and get this clear American. You know, seltzer itself is not always too different from each other as long as it, you know, it says that its seltzer should normally be the same with some very slight variations and probably the natural flavor that goes in it. Maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. So I thought, okay, I'm in a hurry. Let me just get two cases of Clear American and just be on my way quickly. Get out of here because it's been a long day. So I do that. The two flavors that I get is I get the lime flavor and I get the orange flavor, I should add. So the first one I opened up was the lime flavor and it just tasted really good. It tasted like how salsa should taste. So I was really happy with my purchase until I open up a can of orange seltzer. I'm thinking, you know, orange seltzer, I've had bubbly orange, you know, I, I should know what to expect when I taste it, you know. There's, there's no need to, like, read the ingredients because, like, like everyone knows what the ingredients of seltzer is. Okay? So I, I, I take a giant swig and I spit it out. I was like, oh, what? I'm confused. I'm like, I'm tasting some sugary, sugary something in the seltzer. I look at the can and oh my God, it has aspartame in it. Aspartame? The crap that's in Diet Coke? Uh-uh, no. Mm -mm. I was angry. I have n I never drink anything diet because I know that's a cancer causing kind of drink. Never have drinking diet sodas. Never will. And now here I am drinking aspartame. I'm I'm pretty angry at this point. So you know I pour the open can out in my sink. I put the rest back in the box and I return it to Walmart with my refund and. I was just really angry because I'm like, the box literally says it's sparkling seltzer water, orange flavor. And you should not be putting aspartame in seltzer. That's sacrilegious, man. Don't do that. I know like brands like Spindrift have put like other stuff in it, but at least they're open about it. That's what they're supposed to be. You, they're not, it's not pure seltzer. It's seltzer with some extra stuff in it. Clear American is branding itself as pure seltzer. Oh, man. I am so furious. So this is a warning to everyone out there. If you're going to buy seltzer at Walmart and you get the Clear American brand, check the ingredients, please. I beg you, you will thank me later. Aspartame. Seriously, Walmart. Get your act together. That is inexcusable. Inexcusable. Thankfully, because I know to read the ingredients now, I will be checking every single uh, package of seltzer I get from Clear American because the lime really did Im impress me. I actually did like 
drinking the lime tasted fine. The ingredients list was water and natural flavor. So that should be good. So I'm going to watch out with Clear American from now on. And I would advise you guys to drink it to do the same. Okay? Okay. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is sort of a newish kind of video where I'm kind of going off the cuff. I don't really have notes in front of me. I'm just going off of my memory banks. So I don't know if this is better or not in terms of pacing or anything. Um, I know I tend to speak a lot slower when I have scripts. When I'm going off the cuff, I speak a bit faster. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. And have a great day, guys.